Solve by completing the square. The technique described for completing the square requires that the leading coefficient is equal to 1. We can obtain a leading coefficient of 1 in this case if we divide both sides by 2. Remember, when dividing by 2, we divide all three terms by 2. In this case, 2x squared divided by 2 is 1x squared. Negative 2x divided by 2 leaves us with minus 1x. And then negative 3 divided by 2, we're left with minus 3 halves equals 0 divided by 2 is 0. Now we're ready to begin the steps for completing the square. In this case, we'll add 3 halves to both sides. And we're left with x squared minus x equals 3 halves. Now to determine the value that completes the square, we'll use the formula b divided by 2 squared. In this case, b is equal to negative 1. Substituting, we then have negative 1 over 2 squared. Well, that equals 1 fourth. So the value that completes the square is 1 fourth. We'll add 1 fourth to both sides. Now factoring the left side, we see x squared factors x times x. 1 fourth factors as 1 half times 1 half. 1 half and 1 half add up to negative 1 if they're both negative. So we can write x minus 1 half times x minus 1 half. Notice here we have a perfect square trinomial. Now on the right side, to add these fractions, we need a common denominator. So we have the equivalent fraction 6 fourths plus 1 fourths. That leaves us with 7 fourths. And we have x minus 1 half squared equals 7 fourths. We can then extract the roots. Taking the square root of both sides, don't forget the plus or minus, we're left with x minus 1 half equals plus or minus the square root of 7 fourths. Simplifying, we're left with x minus 1 half equals plus or minus the square root of 7 over 2. Adding 1 half to both sides, then we have x equals 1 half plus or minus the square root of 7 halves. Or we can write 1 plus or minus the square root of 7 over 2. These are the two solutions to the original equation.